Hello friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. This is a haul video. I am trying to stay on top of the books at least that I accumulate, which again, seasoned friends, you're like, hello, you said this is a no buy year. Well, I will tell you and show you how I am doing fairly good at no buy. I had a little slip, but that's okay. Did I, I know I said hello, did I tell you my name's Kathy? Anyway. Hello, welcome. We are going to show you or go through the books I acquired in May. So, do I have them in any specific order? Well, we're going to roll with it. So, this is a subscription and this should be the last issue I receive from Mystery Colors. I do have a flip of this on my channel. I'll link that in, in the eye in the sky. Um, most colorists are familiar with this. If you're not, um, check it out. It's fun. It's very detailed. They have a new artist in the past year who does super detail, super teeny tiny, but um, they still come out beautiful pages. So this was a subscription, which should be done now. Then I have a couple books. This one I received as a gift, a thank you from Sun Life Drawing. I am part of their review team, which P.S. Psst, it's not hard to get on. You just email them. <laughs> so I will link that down below. You just do it from their website. And I, as far as I know, I did when they first, sorry, if you see the shadow, I'm, I'm holding off a cat. Um, they started this a couple months ago and now when they're doing their new books they send the PDF out for people to review if you sign up with them so you have to be able to obviously print out pages so if you want to color them and then what they do is when it is per alive for purchase on Amazon usually about a week later they will put it live then they request that you put a review out there so they have reviews as soon as the book opens up so this book is one of those that Kira Shershneva, it is her Color by Colors. There are actually two of her mandala books in here and they have been converted to Color by Number, which personally I prefer. Um, that's just my preference. I love them both. I mean, Kira's work is amazing, so having the ability to do them as Color by Number makes me very happy. Next, I have my earnings a season friends i have a ongoing thing as you know if you're a new friend i do a little challenge with my husband we call it coloring for coins and i earn a quarter for every page i color in the month and then at the end of the month i get to shop and he buys it for me again i always say this but if it's first time watching me it is not like i have a limit to color as far as my budget this is a way for me to stay reined in so i'm not buying books all day every day which is what I was doing before so this way I really get to think which ones I want and then I can like and seriously I go to the penny which is how I got this book because I needed something inexpensive um, so these were for the pages I, I earned from the pages I colored in April so I got this one which is chibi coloring book it is Allison Corbin and it's actually super cute. They are single-sided. Um, I'm not sure. I think maybe Jamie, Jamie's Coloring Love, had shown this one, which is where I saw it. But they're really adorable. And yeah, if any, if, I may do a flip of this. I'm going to see if they're out there. I know there's one I'll do a flip of, but we'll see if I do this one. So this is Chibi from Allison Corbin. The second book I earned, ooh, ooh, sorry, small space, is the Russian Dolls Professional. And this is by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. This one, I will be honest, I'm not as happy with. <laughs> I should have watched a full flip. When the original Russian Dolls came out, I wasn't sure. And then I saw colored pictures and I'm like, yep. And so I do have that and I love it. So this was kind of an auto buy, but I really think and I love, I love the such devas. This is no shade towards any of them. It's probably me, but it seems there's a lot of kind of repeat or I'm not smart enough to figure out what the profession is. Seems there's a lot of like educator type um, in here or music where I think they 
she could have done something a little bit different. Uh, or again, like I'm just not figuring out this. I don't know if this is just a computer worker with a phone and a computer, hairstylist, judge, lawyer, artist. And then this, I'm like, is it a mathematician? Is it a teacher? This, I think not sure i think it might i don't even know for sure what this is there's like a megaphone a headset don't know i don't know what these these are this is me i'm bad a, a detective maybe with a giant gun in the middle um this one cracks me up because i wasn't going to give you flip kind of give you a mini flip this again i don't know what it is seems educational to me this is a photographer obviously a school teacher here because we got school bus and seamstress, magician, coffee one, we love those, police, scientist, I'm not sure if this is the pilot, the air traffic controller, airport, bakery, I don't know, I just think there could have been more, I, I don't know what to say, it's just, I, I'm not smart enough to figure out what all the professions are, we'll just say it's that, but I earned it and I will still color it because I do love the Sach Devas and I'm sure once the color gets in there, yeah, I love that. I did pick up a color Questopia. They've been doing a couple more releases of their older books in black background. Now, I'm not like a huge cow person, but I um, thought this one seems very similar to the Llama book, which I love, which was a gift from my dear friend. And what I like is this seems very similar in that they have a lot of flowers and so it's and bright colors i did do sneak peek one page already in um june but i just thought even though they're all cows with the colors that they have chosen and i love the black background and the big black border so i picked it up and it happened to be on sale i just saw they released the pugs book in a black background this week of course i'm filming this on the 8th who knows when it'll be posted and the last book i earned from coloring for coins is stone mosaic from belba family the black edition i personally love the black backgrounds for the stone mosaics because i'm a very messy colorist and i'm so happy i got that in this one because this has a lot smaller um stones than the other books and I also love that this is the square size so you don't have a bunch of dead space so those were all my coloring for coins books and then I have three books that I purchased because Camellia you released a new book I had to get it so how could I work it out well I do a bunch of surveys and stuff and earn Amazon gift cards and I cash some in to get these three books so this is all over right now, 50 Farmers Miniatures. I do have a buddy color in this. And I'm so excited because I can tell she has continued to thicken up the lines. This seems to be still a little bit thicker than maybe the last. Um, and it just for alcohol marker work, for me personally, I love it. And she is filling out the page more. It used to just be very small. So I think her artwork is always amazing and I love that she has been taking feedback and improving what is already near excellent. Uh, of course, I couldn't just one book, so I think I cashed in $20 worth and this had just been released, so I got it at the lower price. This is a Prachi Dewan Sajdeva book and I absolutely love it. I've mentioned before that I was on the fence about the ceramic tiles when they first came out. The first two books I do not have, the original and then the Christmas, and I was gifted the Valentine's one and I have already finished it and am about halfway through Easter and I get the whole thing. I love them. So uh, I picked this up right away on the special price and I love a good sweet treat dessert. I'm assuming for some like, is this a hamburger? Well, that's not a sweet treat, but I'm pretty sure it's a macaroon, macaron. But even here, it's like chocolate filled. It made me look like hamburger with sesame seeds. Okay, it's just me. And then the last book I bought, which this one I am going to be doing as a Friday um, 
flip through Friday, flip it Friday, is Dreamy Worlds, and this is by Runny Rainbows. I will link to them. I believe they have two books out, and they are currently working on a mushroom book. The first book is all aquatic theme, which I'm not a huge aquatic type colorist um, at this point, but this one seems very reminiscent of um, Johanna Basford, kind of Worlds of Wonder, but different, maybe inspired. Anyway, I did a buddy color with uh, the, excuse me, with Maddie, who is the artist, I believe, I don't know if there's more than one, but I did a buddy color with her in May from a page in this book and I just bought the book. So I will be giving a full flip of this on my channel. So that is, those were all earned freebies. So that's how I got those new books. Then I kind of did a thing and I did another Lyrica, Lyrica, again, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, order because several of you used my referral coupon code and then I earned credit. So I want to first, before I even show you the book, say a thank you so much to Lynn, Jamie, Tamara, and the bonus person who purchased theirs via Anonymous. Um, thank you for using my code because you gave me some credit, which means I had to go shopping and I did overspend my credit, but I've decided it's okay because it can be carryover birthday gift, and I just deserved a little something. So I purchased, well, let's just go through them. I got another one of the mini block. This is the portraits with a stitch on the front. And I have had a few of these, and I decided these are my actual favorite. I think the portraits, because they don't have the wallpapery pages in. They pretty much just have a large image and that is what I enjoy. So you don't get as much as the wallpapery pages as you do in some of the other books when they are portraits. I am assuming they might have some duplicates. I haven't compared enough. So there are many of the portraits books. There are larger ones. This is the mini block. I like this because it's single sided. Um, the same as many other people suggest before you purchase the, any of the Disney books, try and find a flip through to make sure the characters you like are going to be in there. That is, it's, it's a thing. Then I'm continuing my collection of the large books, the Grand Classiques. I have found I really do enjoy coloring these. I've been using water-based markers. I've been using acrylic paint. So I picked up a tomb two and again, here you go. Can't really tell what they are, but there is, close your eyes. If you don't want to see it, I'm not going to do a full flip, but they do show an answer key at the back. So you can reference it to pick a page or if you have a question on what a color should be. So I got tomb two. And then I got Vistier. I don't speak French. I always say I barely speak English. <coughs> this is a newer release. They've been coming out with a lot, so excited. These are all animals, which would, again, just give you another quick pick, peek. So a lot of these characters are in like the classics tombs. So you're definitely, if you're collecting all of these books, you're going to get some that are very similar and um it to me that's fine because it's as i recently was watching dan danny buttons danielle had said and which was a good point there are 100 pages in them so even if there's a almost a similar dupe you probably you're not going to color it you know it could be years in between so i'm good with that i did i was debated there was this was the newer release that's Mickey, Mickey and Friends, and there is a Mickey and Donald, Mickey Donald and Co., which was the original one, and I decided I liked this one better. So this is all of Mickey and his pals. Again, shut your eyes, just quick peek, a lot of the classic like Mickey Mouse and Goofy um, cartoons, more than the movie characters, which are in a lot of the other books. So I got Mickey and Friends. And then I wasn't sure which one I wanted to get. I was debating between princesses and a girl power. And I decided I wanted girl power, which is another newer release. 
Princesses is also gorgeous and I may get that at some point, but this has non-princesses, just females from all female characters. So again, you're seeing them right here. So I'm pretty sure there might be some princesses. Yeah, we got a Snow White in here and a Pocahontas, but there's also the other female characters from Disney. Oh my gosh, that one's adorable. I may need to do that this month for um, Pixie. Pixie's project has Minnie Mouse as her Disney prompt. So girl power. And then the last one I got from Lyrica is because I wanted to see what it was all about. I have a couple of the others here. This isn't a new purchase. I'm just going to show you. I had purchased these, which are magic mystery color riages, and these are a little simpler than the, well, I say they're simpler, but they have some small spaces, but it's compared to the larger ones. These are a little simpler. There's not as many pages in them. So then they also have, which this line is called Disney Baby. And I am planning to color in it this month, so you'll see a completed page at the end of the month. And I really like this. Now, granted, it is, you know, it says baby in the front, which I don't like. But this is an excellent option for anyone that likes a larger print. Um, you, These are not color by number, but what they are is they give you the picture, uh, colored in picture as reference. So obviously you can color it however you want, or if you want to try and mimic it, you can. But I love the bright colors on the background, and the paper is about the same. I don't know what kind of paper. It's not Amazon. It's really smooth, and in my experience, like with the um, coloriage books, I keep pointing it to it like you can see it. Um, alcohol marker really doesn't work anyway, so the double-sided is fine. But these could very easily, I probably am going to use crayon in these. I could try water base, but it's really large spaces. But they are adorable. So I highly recommend this line, which there are more. I got the, it just says uh, the animals. I know there were others, but if you look for the Disney baby, again, baby doesn't mean anything. But other than maybe it means these are like babies version. I don't know. But yeah, highly recommended this for what the reasons I had stated. And I'm very thrilled to have picked this one up. And I will probably, and they're not as expensive as some of the others. So there you go, my friends. That is my book haul for the month of April. And I am just so proud of myself because that is a giant stack of books, granted. Did I need any more books? No, but for the price I paid, which everything was free, now granted, as I've said before, the coloring for coins comes from the same account my husband and I share, but it's the fact I earned it and he likes to buy them for me. So I consider those free. And then I used gift cards I had earned and thanks to the amazing friends who used my referral coupon on Lyrica, Thank you. I will have that listed down below. I will put in links in the description to the books directly, all of them. If they were from Amazon and then all of the Disney books, I will put the direct link to that book on the Lyrica website. Just because it's a French website, it can be a little tricky to find things. But if you at least get into one thing you like, it's a little easier to keep looking. And I will also have my referral code. So if you want to use it, you will save yourself. Is it 10% or 20%? I really should know, but you're going to save yourself some money. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. You actually enter that code in at checkout, so it's like a coupon code. And if you have other coloring people that you follow on YouTube and they have purchased from there, they probably have a code as well. So I save money where you can and use whosoever code you would like to or pay full price. Again, it's your money. The reason so many of us have um, enjoyed the French website uh, is because they offer free shipping, but now they have a clause. I don't remember. I do recall one of my friends in Australia said now they've put like a limit. You have to buy, spend a certain amount. So they have been changing that a little bit in the States. I do know it's free shipping. The book price is a little higher than if you looked on Amazon, but when you look on Amazon and then they add in the shipping, 
It's about a wash and they have been super fast and all of my books have come in pristine condition. So if you're into that and they have a lot besides Disney. I always like to remind people that the Hatchet Heroes, they have a lot of books that are non-Disney but in that same style, whether it's the color by number or the non-color by number, they have nature, they have animals. There are other um, artists and publishers that have books out there and they just have like book books. So if you are interested, a lot of them probably are in French. So remember that if you're getting a book book, but anyway, okay. Tired of showing my hands and I am going to let you guys go so I can do a little bit more filming, but there you go. I'm excited. My real goal is to at least color a page in all of my Disney books this month because Disney was my random wheel spinner prompt for the month of June. So perfect time to get into all of the Disney books. So I hope you guys are doing well, that you are having a good start to your summer and yeah, things are going okay. I am doing okay. I'm still standing as we say, and that's a good thing. So be kind to yourself, be kind to each other, look yourself in the mirror, remind yourself how much you matter, whether you know you got any new coloring books last month or this month, it really doesn't matter. We don't need to compare ourselves to each other, to anybody at all, because we are all beautiful and unique on our own. We provide value and really whatever somebody else is doing, whatever they have, just be happy for them. Because the one thing I've learned if anything, when I peek into like the news or like the entertainment world, is that it's uh, to me, I've learned it doesn't matter how much money you have, how beautiful the world thinks you are, how perfect your life may seem on the surface, there's ugliness in everyone's lives. And it's just apparent in more than some of us more than others, but Nobody has it easy, nobody has a perfect life, and even with all the money and fame and beauty, I, there's a lot of not happy people out there. So I will gladly stay, as I say, a bottom feeder and just be swimming my own life and happy with that. And I just encourage and appreciate and support the other people if they are succeeding in the way the world sees as a success. I can't even talk because I already feel that I'm a success just being me and you are as well. Okay. Zoe's about to make her move. So I will talk to you guys later. I love you guys. Oh, hello, Zoe. <laughs> Goodbye, friends.